Golden State Warrior Sick Buckley at Zach Buckley and Van National NBA featured columnist December 18, 2017 Marcio Jose Sanchez Associated Press The Golden State Warriors have made a habit of bringing statistical impossibilities into reality, snapping a 40-year NBA title drought. Been there, done that. Eclipsing the all-time standard for regular season success with 73 wins. That's in the bag, too. For the Warriors, wild numbers are more than just wild. Some carry historical significance. Others lengthen their lead on a basketball world trying, and almost always failing, to keep up. The current crew has already produced a new batch of WoW figures, the following five of which are quickly coming to define their 201,718 campaign. Marcio Jose Sanchez Associated Press A cursory glance at Golden State makes it seem almost vulnerable, or mortal, at least. The Dubs' .793 winning percentage is their worst of head coach Steve Kerr's four-year tenure. They aren't occupying their customary no. One seed in the Western Conference standings, nor are they found at the very top of many power rankings. Their roster has become the walking wounded, and the injury report houses more than half of their starters. This has got to be as beaten up as we've ever been since I've been here, Kerr said, the Conor Latourno of the San Francisco Chronicle. I don't remember having this many guys out, particularly our starters. Stephen Curry's ankle is back in the news, Draymond Green's shoulder is sore and apparently none of it matters. Golden State is once again steamrolling opponents, this time by 12.7 points per 100 possessions. If that sounds like a staggering statistic, that's because it should. It not only leads the association by a comfortable margin only Houston, plus 10.8, and Toronto, plus 8.2, a clearing plus 5, it tops last season's mark of plus 12.1, which NBA.com's John Schumann noted in April was second highest in 40 years. In other words, the Warriors are, statistically speaking, again one of the greatest teams of all time, even as many don't yet paint them as the greatest club of this campaign. Marcio Jose Sanchez Associated Press The Dubs boast the NBA's best three-point conversion rate at 40.3%. Him, right? That designation kind of feels like a given, even if they finished third in the category last season. But couple that with the fact Curry is having his least efficient perimeter campaign as a pro 38.1, and suddenly that mundane statistic gets interesting. That's because Clee Thompson traded his shooting hand for a flamethrower and is connecting on a searing, and easily career-high, 47.2% of his long-range looks. Moreover, the All-Star 2 guard has simultaneously pumped his field goal shooting to a personal best 50.5%, potentially positioning himself to join the league's most exclusive marksmanship club. If he nudges his 88.2% free throw rate just a couple of points higher, he could be enshrined with Curry and Steve Nash in the 504,590 club. He's probably in his prime right now, Kerr said of Thompson, for CBS Sports' Brad Botkin. Mentally, physically, he knows the league better than he ever has. Buoyed by Thompson sniping, and similarly scorching rates from Kevin Durant 40.7, Nick Young 41.4 and Patrick McCaw 39.4, Golden State owns the highest effective field goal percentage in NBA history 58.8. In a vacuum, that might not sound absurd given this group's otherworldly standards, but with Curry's relative struggles in mind, this shooting display borders on unbelievable. Marcio Jose Sanchez Associated Press It's tempting to see the Warriors' unprecedented star power and think that's the reason this roster is so unfairly stacked. On some level, that's an accurate assessment. But it's the dub's depth that provides that final lift needed to sit head, shoulders and torso above their peers. Golden State's second unit has a stellar plus 10.1 net efficiency rating. That's good enough for the no. One spot in the category, and it's better than any Warriors reserve unit fed during the three previous finals bound seasons almost twice as good as the 73-win outfit of 201,516 plus 5.1.THEIR list of second-team success stories is limited only by the league's imposed roster restrictions. Omri Caspi, added for the criminally low veterans minimum, is shooting 60.2% overall and 60.0% outside. Former All-Star David West is more than a dozen points above his previous field goal high 66.9, was 54.5. Young and McCaw are collectively splashing 40.9% of their triples. 
Rookie Jordan Bell is shooting 74.6% while averaging 4.8 combined steals and blocks per 36 minutes. Obviously coming off a championship run, they didn't need any more help, Bell said, per CBS Sports Colin Wardeninger. Dot, dot, dot. I just tried to come in and just tried to really make an imprint on his team, just make sure I impact every game one play. I don't want to be a guy who just rode the wagon. I want to actually be part of some of the success. Bell is checking that box, as are all the other members of this bench brigade. There was a time when this team struggled to function without a leader. That time has passed. Curry has the lowest off-court net rating at plus 7.7, .7, a mark that would rank fourth overall. Hence why the recent rash of injuries HASNT derailed its season-long eight-game winning streak. Ryan Kang Associated Press For the most part, it's tough finding a Warriors weakness without nitpicking bottom third in offensive rebounding, perhaps a byproduct of shot selection and style or imagining abstract obstacles complacency. The one exception, though, is obvious. Golden State can't shake the turnover woes that have almost been as constant and occur as pace, space and all kinds of movement. Turnover issues are nothing new to Golden State, Letourneau wrote. Over the past three years, the Warriors have hoisted two Larry O'Brien trophies, reached three NBA finals and won 207 regular season games, all without ranking among the top 17 of 30 NBA teams in fewest giveaways. That part of the script has yet to flip. The Warriors are coughing up the fourth most turnovers in the league 16.2 per game. And this ISNT a pacer-driven anomaly. Shift the focus to turnover percentage, and you still find this club near the cellar, 25th to be exact at 15.9%. But all those miscues only serve to make this discussion more incredible. The Warriors still have the league's most assists per turnover. And the margin ISNT particularly close. They drop 1.94 dimes for every giveaway. The next closest club is at 1.76 Minnesota Timberwolves. The gap between them is the same size as the one separating Moss. 2 and 14 Detroit Pistons, 1.58. No team distributes better than the Dubs, which probably should NT be possible with their top quarterback being green, a forward center tallying 7.3 helpers per night. But check every assist-related stat, and you'll find Golden State listed first, 30.8 assists, 4.8 secondary assists, 53.8 potential assists, 69.8 assist percentage and 37.0 catch-and-shoot points per contest. Marcio Jose Sanchez Associated Press There are different manners in which to dissect the ridiculousness of Golden State's abundance of riches. But being able to lose one MVP candidate only to have another grab the reins might be the best encapsulation. Like Curry did a season ago, Durant has used his superstar counterpart's absence to skyrocket himself into statistical wizardry. It's hard to raise a bar already set at an elite level, but Durant has found a way. Over the last four outings Curry has missed, Durant has poured in 33.8 points on .537.429.955 shooting to go along with 10.3 rebounds, 7.3 assists and 3.0 blocks. Durant kicked off this run with a 35.11 rebound, 10 assist triple-double in Curry's hometown of Charlotte, North Carolina, that had Kerr marveling during his post-game presser. It was an I got this type thing with the way he carried himself, Kerr said, per ESPN.com's Chris Haynes. Clearly the best player on the court, the dominant player on the floor, and I think he showed, without Steph in particular, he almost had a different bounce to his step. There's a different impact in Durant's production, too. Before Curry went down, the dubs weren't much different with Durant plus 12.9 net rating or without plus 12.8. Since then, there's been a staff size split between when Durant plays plus 15.0 and when he doesn't plus 1.4. GRANTED, when Golden State is at strength, it doesn't always need Durant to dominate. But if he WASNT consistently capable of carrying the load, the Warriors would NT still be rolling without their fallen stars. Unless otherwise indicated, all stats are from Basketball Reference or NBA.com. Zach Buckley covers the NBA for Bleacher Report. Follow him on Twitter at Zach Buckalimba.